We have scholars uh, in all schools of thoughts and we have one Quran. Still we are fighting over small petty issues. Everyone has a different opinion about the same things, about the same ayah. There is a lot of different ways of uh, offering your salah even. There is a lot of different ways of uh, saying adhan. People are offering their salah in different ways. Even on fiqh issues, uh, there are different uh, schools of thoughts who interpret uh, the knowledge of a hadith and Quran in a different way. Although they are the scholars, they have spent their lives studying this. Right? But why, why is Ummah still divided into 72 different sects? Why? Because we are too far away from the knowledge of Wahi. We are too far away from the actual authentic information that came in the form of Wahi. Wahi in itself is present in its original form, that is Quran. But the actions of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Sahaba is too far. They, they, they were like uh, hundreds of years ago. So now over time it has started to like um, fade away the actual knowledge and people are figuring, figuring out their own ways. So that's why we have so many different schools of thoughts and so many different scholars and everyone thinks they are the correct ones, they are the right ones and they are the al Jamaa who will go to Jannah. How would we know? How would we know? And everyone takes from the same Quran and same Hadith. Yeah, we can take based on our own interpretation, based on our likes and dislikes. But Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that out of Nabuwa and its signs, there is nothing left but the true, but the true or and the uh, but the true dreams uh, that one sees about himself or someone sees about them. And then Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that um, that the true dreams are the forty-sixth one of the forty-sixth uh, one out of 46 parts of uh, Nabuwa. It's not Nabuwa, but it's some uh, it's a minor part of that that can be given to a non-Nabi as well. And Nabi Muhammad وسلم, also said that Nabuwa has ended on me, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would keep on sending a, someone who would, who would renovate the deen for the Ummah uh, at the end of every, at the, at the, at the edge of every uh, century. These are all the hadiths, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me if I made a mistake or uh, shortcoming. Uh, uh, so the Nabuwa is no more. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was the last prophet. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has arranged to guide this Ummah through Mujaddideens, through the people who would like uh, define the deen uh, in every generation and at the end of this Ummah there will be uh, an Imam, the scholar who will be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who would combine all different, uh, all different sects, all different schools of thoughts under one banner and that person would be Imam al-Mahdi and he will be guided not through Wahi because Nabuwa has ended he will be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by nothing else but dreams by true dreams so this is the time when all that scholarship that has been in the form of books that has been in the form of ijtihad that has been in the form of self-pure thinking based on the pure intentions but that has to be consolidated under one banner so I'm not religiously much um, like uh, educated I would say frankly like I did study the de Deen uh, on my own however I could whatever I could but I from all that study from all that study of Quran and a Hadith I base my conclusions on the true dreams of Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. 
I'm not making this stuff up. Whenever I make a conclusion or come to a point, I base on my interpretation, my understanding of Quran and Hadith based on the dreams of Muhammad Qasim because I think he will be Imam al Mahdi in future. So he is being guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is his dreams and his knowledge. He is not like scholarly educated as well. But he is being trained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself through his dreams. So all that scholarship would consolidate under the knowledge coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. And that is the true scholarship. And all other scholarship would, I'm not saying it would be faded away, it would like give up uh, or cease to happen, no. All that scholarship would be re-endorsed by uh, these, this true knowledge coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, everyone has shortcomings, all sects have shortcomings. Those shortcomings would be cured and that's how they would come under one banner inshallah. And that's what I'm doing, I'm not a scholar, I'm just uh, presenting uh, whatever I've understood or received uh, uh, through the dreams of uh, Brother Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and whatever I, I've studied in Quran and Hadith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the truth. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa arzuqna tiba'a wa arina al-baatu la baatula wa arzuqna ishtinaba. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from the attacks of Satan and the jam.